Let's imagine a country where many government agencies and development partners have programs to help poor and vulnerable households. In this imaginary country, government agencies apply social protection measures that protect people from illness, unemployment, natural disasters or other crises they may face during their lives. Each agency does this independently. In this country, different program teams work at community level. They visit the same households to gather more or less the same information. This uses precious time and wastes resources. Once this household information is collected, team members feed it into their databases. Yet each database is different and these databases don't communicate with one another. This makes it impossible to exchange information. What a waste! How could this work differently? Let's be bold and imagine a single, unified and digital social register that fundamentally transforms the way social protection systems work. To do this, let's go back to our imaginary country. In our new scenario, the government and its partners decide to stop fragmenting data collection. Instead, they join forces to find a way to meet everyone's needs. The government agrees to create and use a single template for data collection. It agrees to pull all the household information it collects. It agrees to feed information about services to households back into the new digital system. And it agrees to share the costs for this new system. The government takes action. It sets up a joint database which can be used by all social programs. Every program can now select and manage its beneficiaries and provide benefits without changing its existing information management systems. Each social program now provides feedback into a common database called the Integrated Beneficiary Registry. This registry details who receives services, where and when. This helps the government provide better and more efficient case management. The different programs can now use a single joint payment gateway to reach their beneficiaries. If it's useful, social programs can exchange information with other government databases. A good example of this is the civil registry, which stores crucial demographic information, such as births or deaths. This approach improves the coordination of programs, increases transparency and accountability, and allows programs to be linked within the social protection sector and beyond. The result? Greater impact. And it doesn't stop there. Exchanging information also makes program delivery more efficient. It allows agencies to use joint payment channels and it leaves room for the social protection system to expand if more people suddenly need assistance. And now, let's stop imagining, because in some places, this is already reality. More and more countries are beginning to use integrated information management for social protection. Which country will be next? <laughs>